Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Kaminia. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful summer top. It is very easy and beginner friendly. I am making size small, but I will show you how to make a bigger size as well. I have made videos for the granny squares and the granny triangles. I put the links in the video and the description below. Let's start! We use slip stitches to sew this granny square together. Get the first granny square, find a fourth chain, get a second square, find a first treble crochet stitch right after the corner space. We are going to use front loop on it. It is hard to understand the front loops when sewing granny square. The easy way is Put them back on the table. The bottom one is what we're using. The bottom one on each side. That's what we're going to use. We turn one. Go into the next stitch. And then go into the next stitch on this side. Remember front loop only. If you get confused, put it back to the table. So you know using the bottom part, the bottom loop. Okay. okay, front loop only on both sides. Slip stitch. Again. Slip stitch. Slip stitch. So just continue like this. Or we can do it from the table. So the bottom stitch, the bottom stitch. Okay, it's this stitch. Slip stitch, bottom stitch, bottom loop, I mean, and the bottom loop this side. The bottom loop and the bottom loop. Okay, just continue like this. Okay, we might do one stitch and a corner. Again, front loop only. That's how it look like. Okay, then we go to do the second pair. So we go through the middle stitch of the square. Okay, remember front loop only. And then we get this one, find the 
little stitch of the square just one stitch of the square slip stitch just pull through remember to tighten up the stitches at the corner then we go to the next one You might put on the table is easier. Okay, go to the next stitch, front loop only, and then go to the next stitch, front loop only. Okay, I need to see the stitch. Front loop only on this side, front loop only on the other side. Front loop, front loop. Just continue this and show all the granny squares together. I will meet you after that. We are going to put double crochet stitches all around the border. Slip knot. Attach yarn to the stitch right beside this corner space. Chain three. This chain three is regarded as one double crochet. Then double crochet into every stitch. To the slip stitch in between the two squares, we put one double crochet stitch onto it. Then we are adding this triangle. So for the first treble crochet stitch, we put three double crochet stitches in it. I can crochet this yarn inside as well. One, two, three. For the yellow double crochet stitches, for the yellow double crochet stitch, I put two double crochet stitches into it. For the orange double crochet, we put two double crochet stitches. One, sorry, let's start again. One, two. 
for the coffee brown double crochet stitch we put two double crochet stitch onto it and then two on this side two into the orange double crochet stitch two into the yellow double crochet stitch and then three again in this white treble crochet stitch Sorry, three. Did I say three? So for the treble crochet stitches, for the treble crochet stitch, we put three double crochet stitches onto it. Okay, it looks like this. Let's continue. Okay, one double crochet on this. slip stitch border and then we are at the second triangle so we put three double crochet on this treble crochet stitch two into this yellow double crochet stitch two double crochets and then two double crochet on this orange double crochet stitch and then two on this coffee brown double crochet stitch two on brown coffee double stitch again two double crochet on this yellow orange double crochet stitch and then two on this yellow double crochet stitch and then three on this treble crochet stitch and then one on this slip stitch border where is it? Here. And then one into this first stitch. Okay, now we are back to double crochet onto every stitch. Okay, so we have finished one side of the border. So continue and put double crochets into every stitch until you are at the starting point of this double crochet border. I will meet you there. We are finished the border. So we just 
slip stitch into the third chain and it look like this now we're going to start the second border chain three this chain three is regarded as one double crochet double crochet stitch to the next stitch chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the following stitch chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the following stitch double crochet stitch into the next stitch okay we're basically repeating this pattern so turn one skip one stitch double crochet into the following stitch turn one skip one stitch double crochet into the next the following stitch then double crochet into the next stitch so that's the pattern two double crochets chain one skip one stitch double crochet chain one skip one stitch two double crochet just to repeat this pattern i will meet you at the end of the border we are at the end of second long of the border turn one slip stitch into the third chain that's how it look like now long three of the border turn three then double crochet stitches into every stitch double crochet into every stitch I will lead you at the first corner we are at the first corner. Okay. So see the square corner here. We have this space kind of in a straight line with this corner space. So we're going to increase on these two stitches. So we put two double crochets in the first stitch. And then we put another two in the next stitch. So every corner for these two stitches, you may increase. Put two double crochets into each stitches. I will meet you at the end of the border. We are at the end of the long three of the border. Don't forget to increase these two stitches. Two double crochet into one stitch. Two double crochet into the other one stitch. Then slip stitch into the third chain. That is how it looks like now. We are going to do the final round of the border. Turn three. Then we are going to do a pico stitch. Go back to second chain. 
yang over, pull through all. Okay, let's do pico stitch. Chain two. Skip one stitch. Slip stitch into the following stitch. Okay, let's repeat. Chain three. Go back to the second chain. Yang over, pull through all. Chain two. Skip one stitch. Slip stitch into the following stitch. One more. Chain three. Go back to the second chain. Yang over. Pull through all. Chain two. Skip one stitch. Go to the following stitch. Just repeat this. I will meet you at the end of this round. Now we are at the end of the border. Just slip stitch into the starting stitch. Chain one. That's what it looks like now. We are making the straps. We need two straps, one for the neckline, the other for the back. I make one for 41 inches, the other one for 84 inches. But you can create them with your desired length. So we make a slip knot. Turn one. Go back to the first chain. Back loop only. Pull through. Single crochet. Turn one. Find the second chain from the hook, which is this one. Back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, and then single crochet, turn one, find the second hook from the hook, second chain from the hook. Back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet, yarn over, chain one. Find the second chain from the hook, back loop only. Another one, find the second chain from the hook. Back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet, chain one. So it creates a nice texture. Just continue this and make the desire, your desired length, two traps. I will meet you at the end of that. When you reach the desired length of the straps, you can just trim one and then cut off. For the back straps, we just tie it the same way as we tie our sunnays. So we find a granny square corner. That's the two of the stitches we increased on. We made an increased on, remember? So pull it in and then out like this. And then we go to the same place and the other side, find a corner. Okay, it's here. 
strain remain increased. I want to double crochet. And then, see the granny square here? We go about a halfway, half granny square. You don't need to be accurate, just about it, about a half of the square. And then you tie. Oh, oops, it's the other one. So, always go to the opposite. Then this side as well. We go find halfway of the granny square. Now it look like this. Okay, we continue again. Then this time we go and in line with with the first granny square. So I put here. Same, use the other straps, find the granny square line about here. That's it. You can tie here, and you're back. <laughs>